Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. I was requested by a few of you guys to make more KWGT tutorial videos. So I thought, for those of you looking for step by step guides and advice, I would make a mini series just for you, each episode building on top of the last. I'll be showing you how to customize your KWGT widgets, as well as how to create your own from scratch. So if you like this type of video and want to see more in the series, make sure you like and subscribe to show your interest. And let me know in the comment section below if you have any video requests or suggestions. So here we are with episode 4. This time we're going to be looking at battery widgets. Specifically, I'm going to be covering these 6 unique KWGT batteries and how you can create them from the ground up. But before we get started, make sure you check out the previous episodes for the breakdown on these awesome weather widgets, custom clocks, and the basics of KWGT manipulation. But if you're after my live wallpapers, the link for those are going to be in the description below. Now that we've got that out the way, let's get into the battery widgets. As we're creating each one, we're going to be building upon the last, starting from a very basic setup and ending in a more complex one. Now in order to follow this tutorial, you're going to need KWGT Custom Widget Maker and its Pro Key. So let's kick things off by making ourselves a basic battery widget. Simply just load in a KWGT layout to your home screen. Personally, I always go with a 4x4 layout and then adjust it as I need to. Now simply tap on it to open the widget maker and hit new. So now that we have our blank canvas, Let's start by loading in our battery level indicator. Just simply tap on the plus button and add in a progress item. By default, this will be set to indicate your phone's battery level. So next, we want to change the look from a standard bar to something more of a circular countdown. For this, just head into the progress bar style tab and change it from linear to circular. Next, just head into the progress tab and change the mode to split progress. After which, just head into the color tab and select a color that's a bit more suitable for your home screen setup. Now the final part of this basic widget is the time indicator. For this, you want to head back out to the item listing section and add in a new text item. Conveniently, by default, this will be set to indicate the current time. So all that's left is to simply resize it and then hit save. Next up, this triangular gradient widget. For this, we want to start by loading in a new shape item changing it from the default square to a triangle and then resizing. Now here, we're also going to change the rotation option to 90 degrees. So once you're happy with the shape of the item, let's move on to add a gradient effect. For this, we're simply going to head to the effects tab and change the texture settings from none to horizontal gradient. Now that we have the backdrop sorted, let's go back to the item list and add in a battery progress bar. Now with this, let's start by first simply changing the color as we did in the first widget, after which we want to adjust the rotation of the bar so it's emptying from the top down. Next, you want to reposition and resize it so it's perfectly overlapping the backdrop shape before finally heading back to the color tab and changing the filter to multiply. By applying this filter, only the areas where the progress bar overlaps with another item in a lower layer will be visible. And as a quick note, Anything at the top of the item list menu would be considered behind anything lower down the list. Now to finish off this widget, we first want to add in a new text item and change its text section using the formula indicated on screen, showing the phone's battery percentage. And finally, add in a time indicator similar to what we did in the first widget. Next up, this dynamic color changing battery widget. With this widget, depending on the level of battery remaining, the color will change accordingly. For this example, it's set up to change from green to red the moment the battery drops below 40%. As a quick breakdown, this widget is made up of a battery progress bar and text items are used for the battery label as well as the time and date indicators. The two formulas for these are on screen now. So now that we have the basic widget set up, let's make it dynamically change color. For this, from the main menu, we want to head into the global tab. Here, just simply add in the two colors that you want to use. Now that we have them set up, let's head back to our battery progress bar. Here, we want to head into the color tab and then using the tick boxes, we want to select FG color before hitting the calculator icon in the top right corner. 
Now instead of giving you a color wheel, you'll now be able to use formulas. And the formula that we're going to use is on screen now. This is a basic if function that states if the battery level is greater than 40%, then use the global color green. And if it's not, then use red. And as you probably guessed it, these two parts of the formula refer to the two colors we set up within the global tab. But don't worry, if you've labeled your colors differently, you can use this globe icon right here to pull up the full list of global item names to use in your formulas instead. Next up, let's look at this day battery indicator. This widget is made by combining everything that we've covered thus far. It uses three text items, one for the date, battery percentage, and the current temperature. And similar to the second widget, I've overlapped the battery bar over the day indicator and applied a multiply filter. And finally, not to forget adding in the dynamic color changing formula to the battery bar as well as the global colors themselves. Next up, let's have a look at this humanoid shaped battery. For this, we want to start by first loading in our background shape, in this case a square, then adding in some light cornering before heading into the paint section to adjust the color. Here, we're also going to use the slider to adjust the transparency of the backdrop. Next, because this widget has a lot of different elements, let's add in an overlay group to help us keep all of the battery elements together. Now let's load in our humanoid outline. For this, within the group, let's add in a font icon item. Next, just select to use then typo set, and within the icon option, select the man outline, as I'm showing here. Now as you probably guessed it, we're going to load in a battery progress bar and apply a multiply filter. And for those of you who come across this issue, where the battery is visible on the layer behind the intended target, a quick fix would be to rearrange the order of the items within the item list. So moving on, the formulas used for the text items are on screen now. And with this widget, we're going to take the dynamic color changes one step further. This time, we're going to use three colors instead of two. So make sure to remember to head to the global tab and add all three in. Now there's a couple different methods that we could use, but to keep things simple, let's modify the if function that we've been using in the last two widgets. As some of you might be able to tell, I've taken the if formula that we've previously been using and placed it within a second overarching if function. This formula states, if the battery level is greater than 80%, then the color is green. However, if it isn't, then the second if function is triggered, which then checks if the battery is greater than 40%. And if it is, then orange is used, but if it isn't, then red. Again, this isn't the only method we could use to change color, but it's definitely one of the easiest to set up and understand. Next up, the sixth and final widget, this dynamic battery pointer. With this widget, the triangle pointer actually moves along with the battery progress bar as it fills up and empties out. Just start by first loading in the dynamic color changing progress bar elements and once again using this formula within the progress bar's color section. Now that we have that out the way, let's head back to the global tab. And here we want to add in three new number items. One for the battery level, width and height. And as a quick note, make sure to set the limit for the battery number to 100. From now on, if you want to change the battery's height, width or level, make sure you do so by using the global settings here. Think of this as the master controls for the dimensions of the battery and the pointer. Next, let's head back to the progress bar and link it to the global numbers. Just simply head into the progress bar style tab and then follow as I'm showing on screen, adding in the global values to both the size and high options. And to fully integrate the progress bar and the upcoming pointer, make sure to head back to the bar's color section and update your color formula, replacing anywhere you see level with your new global battery name. Next, we're going to link the progress bar level as well. For this, we're going to change the progress type from battery to custom. Then, we're going to head into the newly available level setting and link it directly to the global battery number. Now whenever the global battery number is changed, both the color and bar will update accordingly. Now let's add in our pointer. This is simply a triangle shape, which we're going to resize, reposition and rotate. Now to get the pointer moving, we need access to the padding option. For this, we're going to load in an overlay group, and then cut and paste 
both the progress bar and triangle shape into. Now within the triangles position tab, we want to add two formulas, one for the left and right padding. These will allow for the shape to adjust automatically from left to right depending on the level of battery. And once done correctly for both paddings, when you adjust the global battery number, you should see this. As a final note, I'm not going to go over the text formulas that have been covered in the previous widget. However, you do want to make sure you head to the global battery number and enter this battery formula. And there you have it, 6 different battery widgets that you can make yourself. Let me know in the comments if you want to follow up with even more battery widgets. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. Follow me on Instagram and make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.